Hello everyone, it's Sierra from Visa Place, and today I have a very exciting video in store for you. As someone that just conquered a huge move away from home, I understand how nerve-wracking and challenging it can be. I also know how exciting it could be to research and explore all the things that will surround an individual after making that move. The United States is filled with many jaw-dropping cities that offer different climates, activities, lifestyles, cultures, etc. So today in this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 U.S. cities to immigrate to, and I recommend looking into these awesome places when planning your new life in the United States. Across the United States, cities have begun rolling out immigrant-friendly policies, rethinking the way police departments cooperate with federal immigration authorities, and launching sweeping campaigns to attract newcomers. The top 50 most popular cities in the United States were analyzed and scored based on a number of criteria. They range from quality of life factors like the average cost of living and immigrant-friendly policies like the degree to which local law enforcement will cooperate with the ICE. Starting with number 10, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. One of the most appealing traits of Milwaukee is its affordability. The average cost of living in Milwaukee is well below the national average. Affordability is very important to immigrants just arriving in the U.S. as they may not have the same support system to fall back on as other Americans do. Some U.S. cities offer municipal ID programs, which supplies residents with photo IDs and grants them access to certain services disregarding their immigration status. Number 9, Los Angeles, California. Although L.A. is known for its high cost of living, the city is very loved and populated by immigrants, which make up 38% of the city's total population. The city's minimum wage policies and universal preschools, however, are a huge attraction to immigrants just making their way to the U.S. Number 8, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston's economy relies a ton on immigrants, considering foreign-born workers have provided nearly all the growth in the labor market in recent years. Not to mention, the city's unemployment rate is less than 4%. Boston is an appealing city for immigrants because of the numerous public services that they offer, such as universal preschools and affordable transit. Number 7, Seattle, Washington. Seattle is known for its compassionate perspective on new arrivals, in which the city helps immigrants gain American job skills to learn how to become economically self-sufficient. The city has a high percentage of immigrants, nearly making up one-fifth of the city's total population. Seattle provides a service to immigrants called the Ready to Work program, which supports newcomers' integration into the labor force. Number 6, Baltimore, Maryland. Over the past few years, the city of Baltimore has tried to make itself more engaging to immigrants. The former mayor, Stephanie Rawlings Blake, set a goal to increase the city's population by 10,000 families in a decade and doing so by mainly focusing on immigrants. A recent report produced by the Partnership for a New American Economy states that the immigrants in Maryland make up nearly 15% of the total state's population. On top of that, they contribute $9 billion in taxes and employ over 125,000 people at their businesses. Number 5, Washington, D.C. Over 14% of D.C.'s population was born in another country, and foreigners make up a vital, educated share of the district's labor force. Immigrants support the district's economy in several ways, from starting new businesses in the region to making up over 44% of all work. As workers, business owners, taxpayers, and neighbors, immigrants are very important to D.C.'s diverse and thriving communities that benefit all. Number 4, San Jose, California. Although the cost of living is one of the highest in the nation, it is very diverse and the economy is constantly growing. Great neighborhoods are easy to find that represent the city's diversity. There are plenty of family-friendly communities that go hand-in-hand -hand with more than a dozen great schools to ensure that good education starts early. The San Jose State University offers more than 134 bachelor degrees and 110 concentrations and helps train the workforce. Number 3, New York, New York. Like San Jose, New York has a high cost of living. New York also hosts the nation's largest municipal ID program, offers sweeping language access policies, and limits its law enforcement with ICE. 
New York City is America's largest metro area, home to nearly 21 million people speaking more than 200 different languages. The metro area is a place of opportunity, which is why many people come to New York City to pursue dreams and achieve a better life. Number two, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago is great for newcomers for many reasons, starting with its relatively high minimum wage, universal preschools, municipal ID program, and its sanctuary policies. The city has a reputation for being very welcoming to immigrants, even going far as launching a public service campaign to newcomers and directing immigrants to resources such as legal assistance, mental health care, and citizenship information. 21% of Chicago's population was born in a foreign country, while 36% speak a different language than English. Many families opt to live outside the city in the suburbs, while many young people decide to live downtown to experience the urban life. And coming in at number one is San Francisco, California. San Francisco's cost of living is 62.6% .6 higher than the national average, but San Francisco has a higher high school graduation rate and more affordable public transportation than other immigrant-friendly cities. California is ethnically and culturally diverse because residents come from different areas around the world. The West Coast has always been known for dreamers and entrepreneurs. All of these places are wonderful cities and I highly recommend looking into them when planning your immigration to the United States. I hope this video has helped and inspired you to make the move. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and contact Visa Place today for any more questions or concerns that you may have.